This video is from the Foundation Series of GMATMathPro.com and deals with the basics of multiples and factors. The first question we're going to look at is, what is a multiple? And here's the definition of a multiple. It says y is a multiple of x if y equals n times x for some integer n. Okay. Now, like most mathematical definitions, it's a little difficult to parse without some context. So let's go ahead and look at an example. Multiples of 3, you can see here, some of the multiples of 3, there are infinitely many, but we've got negative 9, negative 6, negative 3, 0, 3, 6, 9, and so on. So what makes these things multiples of 3? Well, the definition says they're multiples of 3 because we can get all of these numbers by doing 3 times some other integer. So, for example, negative 9 is 3 times negative 3. Negative 6 is 3 times negative 2. Negative 3 is 3 times negative 1. 0 is 3 times 0, and so on. Now, on the GMAT, typically we deal just with positive multiples of a number. So, that would just mean all the ones that are not negative or 0. So, that would in this case start with 3, go to 6, 9, 12, and go on forever. And another way to write those positive multiples is in this way. As you can see, instead of writing 3, 6, 9, and 12, I've got 3 times 1, 3 times 2, 3 times 3, 3 times 4, and so on. So that way you can kind of connect it back to that definition that the multiple is 3 times some other integer. So the next question is, what is a factor? So the definition of a factor is here. It says, if a and b are integers, a is a factor of b if b is divisible by a. That is, b divided by a equals n for some integer n. OK, so another way to think of a factor is it's just some number that divides your original number. So for example, the factors of 36 are listed here. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 9, 12, 18, and 36. So let's again try to connect this back to the definition. What makes these numbers factors of 36? Well, they're factors of 36 because you can divide 36 by any of these numbers evenly. So 36 divided by 1 is 36. 36 divided by 2 is 18. 36 divided by 3 is 12. And you can also kind of see here that each factor on the left matches up with some factor on the right. Another example, factors of 15. Factors of 15 are 1, 3, 5, and 15, because those are all of the positive numbers that divide 15. One more thing to note, if you look at the factors of 36, you know, as I was talking about earlier, the factors tend to come in pairs, because if you divide 36 by 1, the answer, 36, is another factor of 36. You divide 36 by 2, you get 18. 18 is another factor of 36. So they come in pairs like that. So because of that, most of the time, the number of factors a number has is even, because the factors come in pairs. And you can see down here for 15, that is, in fact, the case. There are four factors of 15. So the number of factors is even. But with 36, if you count those up, you're, you're going to get there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine total factors. So in the case of 36, there's an odd number of total factors. And that happens because 36 is a perfect square. So all of these factors are coming in pairs, 1 and 36, 2 and 18, 3 and 12, 4 and 9. But 6 is not paired with anything because 6 goes with 6. 6 times 6 is 36. 36 divided by 6 is 6. So it's kind of paired with itself, but we don't count that as a separate factor. So, so generally, if a number is a perfect square, it'll have an odd number of factors. If a number is not a perfect square, it'll have an even number of factors. And finally, how are factors and multiples related? If A is a multiple of B, then B is a factor of A. And if b is a factor of a, then a is a multiple of b. So this is basically just saying that multiples and factors, they, they go both ways. So for example, 
we know 30 is a multiple of 5, and because of that, we can conclude that 5 is a factor of 30. So you can kind of flip it like that. Uh, the other way, we could say 7 is a factor of 21, so therefore 21 is a multiple of 7. So that concludes our video. If you'd like to see more videos or learn more about our services, visit us on the web at gmatmathpro.com.